Hello everyone and welcome to the Kyle Davis vlog number 18 uh, where we left off last time for my uh, solo vlogs uh, was September 2006 and uh, that was the beginning of the Coach Kyle Davis period and uh, I began to manage uh, Frankie Fisher and uh, Eventually, he would be joined with Smack, who was uh, Christopher Hayden, and they became the Schoolhouse Rockers. Uh, it was a fun tag team. Uh, they were never going to be heels, you know. It was a uh, they were a very lovable uh, face tag team. But I, I say we weren't going to be heels, but yet the crowd really didn't like us. Or they didn't, maybe they didn't like me. I don't know, but uh, uh, we never got the best crowd reaction. Sometimes there was really no reaction at all, which was the worst. Um, I wouldn't call it a failure, but it just it just wasn't working. And and that happens sometimes with wrestling. You know, not everything will work. Um, so we. Uh, Smack was just starting. That was his very first uh, gimmick, his first time, you know, his first matches ever. I don't remember who he faced. I don't remember his very first match, so if you can help me out with that. I, I don't remember. Um, I don't know if it was a tag team match or not, but uh, but I do remember uh, my first match with Frankie was against uh, SB1, and that was SB1's first match at PCW. And, uh, and Frankie won that, and, and then... Uh, Hayden would <sighs> Hayden would join us uh, the next week and uh, we uh, I, I started out wearing a suit because I really didn't know what to wear but eventually I, I got a sweat suit uh, sweatpants and a sweater and uh, the famous whistle which I still have and uh, and the, the, the mandatory coach glasses um, it was kind of one-dimensional, though. There really wasn't much that I could do as a coach. Uh, uh, I don't know. It was okay. There just weren't that really memorable moments. Um, yeah, they're just really... It, it, I, I can't say I didn't like it, but it just wasn't working, as I said. Uh, but during that time, uh, in November of 2006 was uh was our first show in Marshall, Texas, the first of many 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 Marshall shows. Um we got on there through Mike Page who had been working uh at PCW Uncut at the time. And uh he asked if uh we wanted to to go out there to be on the Marshall shows. And uh so of course we 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 went out there. Um is me, Tadlock, uh, Smack, and Frankie. Very first week out there we were ever out there. I I very much remember my first uh, first night. Uh, Mitch Carter and Lexi also rode out there in separate cars. Mitch was uh, messing around in the ring. Uh, I remember this very clearly, and he uh, he broke his collarbone <laughs> uh, messing around in the ring. And uh, he had to go to the hospital before the show even started, which was right across the street. And uh, and he was never back in Marshall. He never went back. So I guess that ring was cursed. Uh, first night, it was uh, Frankie against uh, Tadlock, maybe? I, I think. It's on YouTube, actually. Or the, the second week is. The second week was more memorable. That one was Frankie versus Tadlock. The first week was was Katera and Tadlock, I think. Second week was Frankie and Tadlock. Um, the first week I was there, they wanted us to go out and do a promo, all that stuff. Um, I go up there, I, I start talking on the microphone, and I realize it's not on. Like, the microphone is not turned on. and uh, So I, I kind of tossed the microphone down and just spoke uh, loudly. I projected my voice and just yelled into the into the crowd uh i get backstage and and, and mike page uh, gets all in my face and uh you know you're an announcer you're supposed to know how to turn on a microphone you know what's wrong with you and i was i was actually pretty upset i you know because i 
I know how to work a microphone. It's not that hard. And uh, after a while, he he, uh, he he gave in and told me that it was all just a joke. Um, I... See, at that time, I didn't care. You know, I was on a show. I didn't really, it didn't really matter. But looking back now, I just, I think that was kind of uh, unprofessional a little bit uh, from a product standpoint. Because, uh, you know, the fans see a guy they've never seen before, uh, you know, not knowing how to use a microphone in their perspective. Uh, I just, yeah, I, it, I don't know. It would, I guess it would have been better if I had been there a long time or whatever. But it was my first night and. Uh, that, that's just my opinion, but no big deal. We were fine. Um, so yeah, the next week, that second week, I came out and did another promo about how uh, they're afraid of what I'm gonna say, and you know they they cut off my microphone, you know, no freedom of speech, blah blah blah. So we did the the whole German, uh, you know, the German sympathizer thing, which really didn't make any sense, but I enjoyed it. Um, and. Uh, we had a we had a we had a, a a point in the match where Frankie was going to do his Russian leg sweep, uh, his uh, you know the springboard Russian leg sweep, and I was going to jab him in the throat with it, <laughs> and I missed and I got him right in the nutsack. So you can you can tell how how that happens you know right I mean it's easily confused so sorry Frankie. But it, it makes for a fun story, and that that actually is on YouTube. If you want, if you guys want to look it up, um, let's see. Around that time in Marshall, we did the uh, the Tadlock Challenge, which I loved. I I I uh, I, I, uh, I presented the idea to Mike Page to uh, carry a globe to the ring. And I would offer money to any fans who could locate Germany on this globe uh, within 30 seconds or whatever to prove that the fans of Marshall, Texas weren't educated to the, the superstar of Victor Tadlock, you know. And, uh, and so we did that for weeks. And, of course, they got close to doing it, and then Tadlock would spin it or, you know, we'd pull it away or something. Uh, and the payoff to that specific angle was... Uh, we did it to Justin Sane's sister or brother or something. It was one of his family members, and so he came out and he stopped it, and that was really the end of that. But we probably did it like five times, and I, I really enjoyed the Tadlock Challenge. While all this is going on during the same time period, we're still doing PCW Uncut on Friday nights while going out to Marshall on Saturday nights. So we're doing, you know, Friday, Saturday night shows back-to-back -back most weekends. So uh, during this time, I, I was uh, for the next year or an a year and a half or so, um, I was really out of touch with PCW the Saturday show. I just really didn't know, you know. We we would be on there occasionally. We'd be on full throttle occasionally, but most of the time, we were in Marshall or uh, we were doing NAW at the time. Uh, and this is where a bunch of the a, a bunch of the stories are going to come from the road trips, uh, but. But this vlog is mainly for the beginning of Marshall and, and the fun we were having there. Uh, we had Macho Mike come out a few times, uh, Aaron Eagle. Uh, um, there are so many others. I, I can't even think of them right now. It's too late at night. But uh, that was the first few months of my managerial uh, experience. Uh, and I was very happy uh, to do that. Um, but I was I uh, with the schoolhouse rocker deal. I was ready. <laughs> Within a few months, I was already ready to move on to something else. It just wasn't working, I don't think. But luckily, um, around January of '07, uh, PCW Uncut created what I feel is still to this day uh, the be one of one of the best uh, angles in PCW. History, really, honestly, and that would be the SPW angle, which I will dive into next time. Uh, I tell everybody this that'll listen. It's it's probably my favorite experience uh, in wrestling, uh, the SPW angle, which kicked off uh, in f around February uh, of, of 2007. So that is where I will pick up next time. Once again, thank you guys very much. Looking forward to some more guest hosts. You never know who's going to show up, and as always. 
please leave me any feedback you guys have. I really appreciate it.